I ran a business writing training course in Glasgow last month, and over coffee, we discussed a familiar problem. I spend most of my day in front of my emails. When I return from holiday, it takes me a full week to catch up with everything. I believe there are two problems here. One, an over-reliance on email to communicate, and two, poorly constructed emails without any clear message. My name's Colin Stone, this is the Pink Elephant Vlog, and here are five steps to better emails. Number one, get to the point in the first three lines. At Pink Elephant, we can receive more than 100 emails a day, so you're fighting for people's attention. A study by the Nielsen Group found people can process emails incredibly quickly and only really pay attention to the headlines and initial copy. That's why I always start with the point of the email in the first full line. Hi Boris, I trust you're well. I'd like to organise a call to go through the schedule for next week. Simple, proactive, productive. Number two, keep it brief. I have a simple rule for emails. If I'm unable to explain myself in 10 sentences, I'll pick up the phone instead. Similarly, if I'm sent one with more than 10 lines, it's unlikely that I'll read it straight away. Drafting an email can be a useful exercise in working out the content and structure of that call, but if it's complicated, connect directly via phone or in person. Number three, pick one clear call to action. When I screen lots of emails in a short period, all I'm thinking is, do I need to do anything? If the ask is too vague, complicated, or is buried under too much information, I'll move on to the next email. Consider this as an example. You can let me know if you like the product, want something else, or have any more questions. I see two problems here. Firstly, there are three asks. If I threw three tennis balls to you at the same time, you'd be unlikely to catch any of them unless you're Roger Federer. If I threw one, the likelihood increases significantly. So pick one and throw it. And secondly, it's a statement rather than a question. Studies have shown that when we're asked a question, our brain downs its tools and contemplates only that question. The mere asking of a question makes the audience up to 35% more likely to complete the action. That's extremely powerful. So ask a question rather than make a statement. Number four, know your limits. Research shows that when average sentence length is 14 words, reader understanding is 90%. Triple the length of the sentence and readability falls to 10%. Enough said. And number five, put your audience in the title. Often the title is the first thing we write, so we pick something generic that describes our general thought pattern. I'm as guilty as anyone for falling into that trap. Recently, I checked my most popular email titles, media training, follow-up, next week, business writing training. Hardly engaging, is it? Also, they're all about me. Now, the title is the last thing I write when I'm clear on the point of the email. Names for your media training session on Tuesday. Your proposal. What did you think? They're about you and your needs. Research consistently shows people prefer email titles that get straight to the point. Overly creative titles may land in spam or be sent there by the reader. Well, that's all we've got for you on this month's Pink Elephant vlog, but if you found this useful, email us today to book a training session for you or your team wherever you are in the world. And if your email fails to adhere to the five steps I've just listed, I'm going to reply with a link back to this same video.